Sifu Summer Update has been out. Wait, can we even call it a summer update? It's September. Anyway, the summer update has been out for a week now and to be honest with you, it falls short in a lot of areas. And in this video, we're going to go over everything they did and didn't do. First of all, they introduced a new scary system. And to be honest, it it is a, a step up from the last one because now uh, you actually have a reason to diversify, to, to diversify. Wait, I can't speak. To diversify your fighting style and the skills you use. So it's going to reward you for, you know, mixing things up, for taking your time and by not performing takedowns. I love it. The, the only thing I don't like is that they didn't, there is no way to actually, unless you read the patch notes, there is no way for you to know exactly how the new scary system works. So overall, I like it, even if it means that some encounters can can be extended to two hours just for you to have more points. You know what? You win some, you lose some. They also introduced new outfits and hear me out, slow clap. If you want to give people some outfits, just go ahead and give them to them. There is a whole controversy about the deluxe edition and how to get the Enforcer armor because for some reason, sometimes you will complete the challenges and you still won't get it. Some, but sometimes people reported completing the challenges and then having to restart their console to get it. I don't, I, I just don't. Listen, if you want to give people some outfits, just like the young man's here, just go ahead and give them to them. Don't make them grind for, you know, challenges just for them to find out they can't get the outfit. That's not cool. But overall, I really like the outfits. They look very, very cool. And then the other one, the master hand, I'm never taking it off. They also introduce yes goals because you need to complete some goals to either unlock some outfits or unlock some modifiers. Some people didn't like the fact that you know, all those rewards were locked behind completing those kind of challenges. But to be honest, I like this because it gave us a reason to, I'll say, to play, right? We have actually had a reason want to complete those challenges. The only thing I'll say though, is that if you're a skilled player, chances are you're going to cruise through those challenges because they're not really hard. The ones which can actually potentially give you some trouble are the one where you don't you, you cannot get hit whatsoever and that's it chances are if you're good at the game you're going to do those challenges without even paying attention you just go there and play the way you normally play and boom you have everything and then you have to unlock the modifiers and here's the big thing here's the first big oopsie slow clap did so you need to complete the game first to unlock the the ability to you know to to purchase modifiers that's fine i actually second phase i i really i really think you should first complete the game because all those modifiers can some of them can change the way you play and make you a god so you do want to complete the game on you know uh without using anything any help and then you can mess around what i don't understand is that a simple window you know on top of the screen Telling people, hey, you need to complete the game first before you get access to all those things we added would have been nice. Because some people, guess what? Some people looted the game and they, they saw nothing and they thought the game was bugged. No, they had to complete the game. But how do you get to that conclusion if the game doesn't tell you that, hey, you need to complete the game first? I feel like, you know what? <laughs> let's, let's continue. When it comes to the mods themselves, they are uh, they are okay. Uh, it's not like it's not, you know. I I feel like two mods in particular are missing. One mod to choose the age you want to start a level at, and one mod to um to get infinite focus attacks. Because I don't I don't I don't, I don't I'm tired of having to die endlessly. To just to get to 75 years old, I feel like that that should have been the very first modifier you get. And here's some ideas for the future. I'm thinking about a mod where your health gradually decreases, right? The moment you start a level, your health starts decreasing and there is no way other than defeating enemies to replenish it. Basically, it's like a speed run uh, mod without, you know, calling it, you know, a speed mode run. And I feel like it could be fun 
you have to complete the level as fast as possible because your health is constantly decreasing even the shrines won't give you health i feel like that, that could be fun and also where is the mod to turn everybody the, the the real problem with this update is that even though they introduced new things it didn't change the experience of what you had with the game whatsoever and that's the first problem i think the game has one simple mod maybe the ability to turn every enemy into one enemy archetype in particular like imagine imagine everybody like every enemy in the game was yang or fajar imagine having to fight four or five fajar in the hallway would that, would that, wouldn't that be fun it will be certainly painful to watch but i feel like it could be so entertaining and all the videos we can make about that kind of thing and guess what it's going to change the way you approach a level because you you know okay i'm going to have to fight like six flash kick at the same time imagine the chaos because as of right now unless you are a masochist who lost any sense of sanity there is no way you're going to even venture to try the challenges i mean the the modifiers they actually add added because unless you want to suffer there is no way you're going to put the double damage the stronger faster enemies the permanent damage there is no way the average player is going to do that because well the average player completed the game and that's it but if you tell them well you can turn every enemy into a juggernaut or a bodyguard like that could be fun right that could be i i'm not i i can't be the only one who thinks this can be fun but they took time to add mods to make easy mode easier by making enemies slower and weaker. I'm like, dude, you already made the easiest easy mode in the game and you find a way, you find a way to make it even easier. I have to give, you need the award for making, um, the commitment is unreal. I can't believe they've done this, <laughs> but they did. Also... <sighs> I'll say like the most frustrating, most annoying thing about this update, I need to calm down about that one. I need I need to evacuate the frustration. Let me give me a give me a second. I don't know who asked for this, but basically the skills permanently unlocked now are shared between all the save files. Yeah, you heard me right. It means that if you want to start a new game, guess what the moment you start the game if you already unlocked all those other skills on a save file you're going to have all the skills from the start listen the whole idea behind a new a new save file is that you have nothing right you have nothing from the start you have to unlock every skill gradually as you progress through the story and i can't believe I, like who asked? I, I, I give me the number. Give me something. Like who asked for this? I'm pretty sure nobody asked for this. And before you say, okay, you know what? Maybe I want to start the game, but fighting without using skills is boring. Well, guess what? They made a mod which allows you to get all the skills. That's why I don't understand what they did then. Why make a mod to be able to add, you know, to get all the skills? If at the end of the day you're going to make it so that everybody no matter what they, they i think I, I feel like this is actually the most annoying part make us choose don't make decisions like that assuming that's what we want you know what make a toggle on or off let us choose if we want that or we don't don't just make decisions for us because chances are it's going to be a bad decision like the decision to make the takedown less impactful like i don't do the uh, uh, I just, you know what, I can understand that it is a small studio and they can, again, they can take the time they want to make updates, but they just need to focus their energy, their energy on doing things people will enjoy because it, it, it doesn't serve any purpose to waste like three to four months just to make something nobody will care about, right? They waste their energy on things we don't need. And I really feel like people at Slow Club are fans of full metal alchemist because for some reason for everything they give there is something they take i mean not really take but hold back 
In the practice menu, you now have pictures of every enemy archetypes, even the bosses. And I feel like this is great because before the game was expecting you to know what the advanced version of the bodyguard was. Like, uh, like why? And also, in some challenges, you're supposed to know that this place is the media room, this other place is, is a side view. I mean, that's pretty obvious, like side view hallway. But the rain room? Like, who's going to tell me that this in particular is a rain room? I have to look at the scenery and, and be like, oh, wait, this looks like it could be the rain room. Like, the game assumes, like, the same game who made easy mode because some people couldn't complete the game because they didn't understand the mechanic because again the game isn't hard the mechanics are just they're just so hard to understand so the same people who did that did not think okay maybe nobody will know where the meeting room is like just <sighs> i think some things need to be addressed i'm pretty sure they're going to nail the the arena mode but i'm mostly worried about what changes will come along the way and i have to say some things need to be addressed they did change the description for the pushback council thank god but in the you know in the training menu if you want to play the tutorial again guess what there's still no button assigned to that so good luck with that uh -uh, my voice is even splitting because of that i think yang is not even the hardest enemy in the game because the hardest enemy in the game is the camera the camera can sometimes be horrendous it's going to fuck you over and i don't i feel like a simple fix making it so that when you are too close to a wall it becomes transparent the same way rocket league deals with you know staying in the net right the whole thing becomes transparent and you can see through i think this will go a long way toward fixing the camera because sometimes i swear to god i can't fight three yanks at the same time, five yanks, ten yanks, I would not rage quit even if I die. But the moment you die because you can't see, honestly, that, 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 I, that, that makes me want to quit the game. Also, also, I was very excited about the low gravity mod. I was already thinking about all those crazy pictures I could make. And by the way, photo mod is fucked at the moment. The filters don't work, you cannot change your stance and... I, I, this is what I meant by they give something and they take back something. I don't... Anyway, in the trailer, when I saw the trailer and I saw the low gravity and enemies flying, I was so excited. I was going to send enemies flying using like a road kick or, you know, a push. But it turns out low gravity just make enemies float. And sometimes object will also float. This is so disappointing. I words cannot possibly fathom how disappointing it is. Like this is this is not good. Like the mod is almost useless because it does nothing. Like it it does nothing. At least bullet time works as advertised, but low gravity is so useless. Jesus Christ. Shifu is undeniably my indie game of the year. I'm not, I'm not going to say Game of the Year is too soon yet because, well, God of War is on the horizon. So, yeah, I really love my time and I'm loving my time with the game. But it feels like all those new changes are only going to appeal to a small audience, the skilled players. And if you want more skilled players, you make everything easier to comprehend. The mechanics you have to make, you have to go online to sometimes check things out like how does the new scary system work how do you get this outfit like nothing is clear you have to either go and read the patch notes or go seek answers online and that's just the dev fault for not making things obvious like if you want people more people to get better make everything better like crack clarify everything so that nobody is left with you know wondering what to do and that thing, I feel like this is the one thing holding essentially the game back, right? It has the potential to be, to blow. And but I'm not even talking about the success the game had when it released. I feel like Shifu has way more potential. But they just need to make the right decisions. And I really hope that by winter, 
when that arena mode we are always expecting. I say winter, but chances are it's going to release in February or March. <laughs> Oh my god, so yeah, yeah, I the, the update is not good. It's not good enough and I really want them to step up the game. I want them to try harder and to do better. And if you have some thoughts about the update, do let me know in the comments, drop a like and do subscribe. I'm Jisoo and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.